What's going on guys, e Pacmans is back with another Fortnite video and today we will be looking at week 5 challenges. But before we do that, I just want to thank all of my subscribers, you know, thank you for subscribing, thank you for supporting. And to those that are not subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn on that bell button for, so you don't miss out on any future video post. And make sure to drop a like for this video if you are planning to do the week 5 challenges this week. Without further ado, let's get on to the week 5 challenges. So looking here we got, for the first challenge, deal damage with scoped weapons to opponents. And this season I have gotten some really good with the snipers, so this should not be a problem. It's 200 damage. Easy peasy. And we got search chests at Paradise Palms or Shifty Shaft, so we have to do seven of those. And then complete a lap at the racetrack in Happy Hamlet. Okay, that's interesting. I have been landing in Happy Hamlet a lot lately. I don't know, I think this is gonna fit right into like fit right into what I've already been doing. So we'll just have to go to the racetrack. Next we have, for the battle pass challenges, get 15 bounces in a single throw with the bouncy ball toy. And then, stage 1 of 3, gain shields from mushrooms. Okay, so this is a challenge that we did earlier on in the season, just a matter of finding mushrooms. Then, use a volcano vent, a zipline, and a vehicle in the same match. Okay, so we just have to remember to do that in the same match. And then, eliminate opponents at pirate camps. Okay, that's, that's interesting, that's kind of fun. And then again, for all these challenges, uh, what I tend to do is go straight to Team Rumble just because it's the easiest, it's filled with the most people, and it's just, I mean, the challenges just get done. But even if you're not even trying sometimes, you just finish with those challenges, so that's why I recommend Team Rumble. This looks like it's it for week 5, let's get started, we'll start with the deal damage with scope weapons and probably search chests at Paradise Palms or Shifty Shafts. Okay, so we are headed to Paradise Palms and it doesn't look like many people are, so this might be clutch. We got like one, two, three, four. So four other people and myself look like they're going to Paradise Palms. So this might be exactly what I'm looking for, just in terms of getting some of these chests out of the way. So here's chest number one. Oh, chest number two right next door. And then I always kind of tend to look at the map to see where people are, uh, just so I know not to go there. Because you obviously want to go where people aren't, that way you have a chance at a chest. Here is chest number three, so we got three out of the way. Let's see if we can find any more chests just for the heck of it. Oh, and there's my sniper. Ladies and gentlemen, there's my sniper. That's exactly what I needed. So we will be sniping this game. We'll probably get two eliminations at least. I think we only need to do 200 damage. And that will be easy. Oh, there's a chest in here. Wow. So did I really just get four chests? Yeah, very easily four chests. I'm actually lucky that not a lot of people landed at Paradise. I'm, I was surprised, not gonna lie. Oh, and just remember guys, the materials are back up to 999 each. And that means they did lower the percentage back to the original, so it's not, you don't get 40% extra from farming. And that also means that, which is not really related to materials, but you do not gain health when you eliminate opponent. And that includes Team Rumble, so just the FYI, people. Oh, Volcano Vent. Remember, volcano vent, zipline, so look this. Volcano vent, the zipline is right there. Let me see if I can snipe this guy. Oh, he's doing the zipline, okay. I'm just gonna do it just so I could get credit for it, and then we just need to do a vehicle. Let's 
See if I get quick scope. Nah. Should I? I'll try a quick scope. Nope, no chance. Okay, so all we need to do is find a vehicle and then we're done with that challenge already. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, the the cannons count as vehicles. Let's go check. Yes, they do. So cannons count as vehicles, people. So just get on a cannon or whatever, and that counts as a vehicle. Quick, easy challenge that you guys just saw me do right by the boat. That was right there. Zip line was right there. Easy peasy. Okay, so I think I'm gonna land in a tree. I'm gonna try to get a good sniper shot. There's my first victim right there, and I missed. Okay. So there's 105 damage. We are halfway there. Wow, that was a quick scope. I honestly did not expect them, but that was our 200 damage. I heard them, but I did not expect to do a quick scope. But there you go, guys. Two eliminations, 200 damage, easy peasy. Just get up with a sniper, go up in a tree, do what you gotta do. And it's easy challenge. So we got two challenges done, and we got four out of seven with the chests. Okay, Paradise Palms this time around is going to be a hot drop, but we're going there anyways. Hopefully going to get lucky again, get a few chests. Just need three, I believe. So we are at four out of seven. Here's number one. Number two. And then I need one more, which should be over here. Oh no, it's actually in the RV. Nice. So we completed our chest challenges. So we are headed towards enemy side to complete this challenge. So here's the spot exactly for you guys right there there will be these ballers here for you guys there we go so this is an enemy actually which is kind of funny whoa what just happened there Okay, so I don't know, I guess you have to wait for the for the green light for it to start officially. Let's see this one. Oh, I could have got it. I messed up. There we go. So these are a bunch of enemies. And I like the fact that they're not getting out and shooting my vehicle down. They probably will at the finish line though. I don't even have a weapon, so I honestly don't care. So there is complete a lap. The racetrack, a happy handle. So I have an idea for the bouncy ball challenge. I want to do kind of a little fort for myself. And close myself in it. And just bounce it. Hopefully it ricochets off the walls. And gives me those 15 bounces that I need. And if it does work, make sure you guys try it at home. So make sure you put a roof to your to your place. There 
There we go. Okay, let's see if this is going to work. No guarantees, but uh, we're going to try it. Oh, this is definitely going to work. No? Yes? Yes, it did work. 15 bounces in a single throw? Just enclose yourself in something and just throw the ball randomly, honestly. Look, I'll do, I'll do it again for you guys. You just throw it randomly at a wall, I would preferably say. And it's just going to ricochet off the walls. Look at that. I think this was better than the first one that I did. Yeah, it was. Look at that. So, for that challenge, super easy. I did it 33 times that time. It literally says on the on the side. 33 times. So I did double. More than double than what you need. So just enclose yourself in something like this. Throw the ball randomly at a wall. Watch a ricochet. Set a record. Go ahead. Beat my 33 times. And let me know how you did it. Comment below when you beat me. Beat my 33 times. I just did it randomly. But I want you guys to give it a go. So if you can... Go ahead. Have fun with it. Okay, so for the mushroom challenge, I kind of recommend going to Shifty Shafts just because I know there's like a bunch of trees with mushrooms over there. We will take a look and see if that's the case. But from prior experiences, I kind of remember there being some mushrooms over here, but we'll see. And right on cue, they are here. I see a couple. Hopefully we can find more because I think we do need like 50 or something like that. So each one does five. So if you do the quick math, you'd need ten mushrooms for that. And here we have four already. And of course, there are many more places with mushrooms. I just know this place off the top of my head from prior experiences. As you can see, we got five now. Need five more. Number six. And then it looks like 7, 8, 9, 10 are over here. So I did this in one game. Look at that. So definitely come to Shifty Shafts. I'll show you guys in a sec where to go. So we completed the challenge. So I'm literally by Shifty Shafts. It's way up here. Specifically right in this forest area right where i'm circling right where my blue marker is at and you can complete this challenge as quick as i did i mean look there's still extra ones over here and then just make sure also that you have no shield that way you for sure are able to consume all the mushrooms all right so this next challenge is going to be really easy it says gain shields from small shield potions if you guys can see in the left side of the screen it's so easy, just go to a populated area where you, you where you know you're going to get small shields, so like Salty Springs, Tilted Towers, Pleasant Park, Retail Row, wherever the place may be. Just gather six minis, because that's the most you can carry, or if you even want to take up another space, then carry 12 minis. However many minis you want, um, all you need to do is gain 100, and, and this is what you got to do, just, oh look, a llama. But anyways, uh, just gather the minis. Hopefully this gives me minis. And they did. Oh, nice. Okay, so I have three minis. So gather your minis. Use them up. Then get shot down by an opponent. And then just use them again. Easy challenge. Because in Team Rumble, you know you're going to need shield anyway. So you might as well um, just stock up on those minis. And, and you complete the challenge. Okay, so I got more minis, so I'm at six now. Perfect. So I'm going to show you guys what to do. You can do it one of two ways. Like I said, you can let an opponent eliminate you guys, or you can do the eliminating yourself, which is what I think I'm going to do. So consume the minis. You just need 100, so essentially you just need four minis. And obviously, since you can't drink any more minis, you gotta eliminate yourself. Okay. 
now land anywhere um, i happen to be by a pirate camp so if an enemy comes i can eliminate them and then drink your two more minis and challenge complete so stage three of three gain shields from shield potions so for this one i'm going straight to tilted towers because at tilted towers you're bound to get some form of shield potion so i'm gonna go straight over there Okay, perfect. So we have the two minis and the 50 pot. Which just made the challenge a whole lot easier. Look at that. I drink them so quick. Oh, so we do need actually 50 pots. So. Okay, gotcha. So we need 50 pots. Ladies and gentlemen, so sorry for the confusion earlier. You do need to drink the 50 pot shields, and we got it one right here. So, then again, make sure you have two 50 pot shields. So, I guess it didn't specify, but I guess since we just did the mini, uh, mini shields, then it makes sense because, like, why would we do it again? So, since I did have, I took a 50 pot already, here's my next one, and that should do it, there we go, challenge complete. Okay, so we are approaching the pirate camp as you guys can see over there, hopefully we have some enemies. There we go. That's one elimination. Let's see if I can get this guy right here. Aw, uh, too late. Okay, so I got one. So that's our second elimination. That was not bad. That was 202 meters. Oh, man. I'm getting sniped at too. Watch this. Nice. We got it. Finally. Wow, that took a while. Oh, and then just for kicks, I think there's another guy over here. Wow. And just for kicks, I got that one, and I got eliminated. Awesome. Okay, so this is the week 5 loading screen, meaning the battle star is in the volcano area. And that's what we're going to go do right now. Go find the secret battle star. Okay, so for this week, week 5, battle star is right here where my marker is, right there. So that is H4. Right there, right in between little island area of the volcano and we're gonna go check it out right now so it should be some around here I believe it's gonna be right here yep okay so you guys know again the exact location H4 right where I'm at right there And the battle star is right here, right by the little waterfall, or lava fall, I should say. Right here. And we're going to get that. Perfect. So that's week 5's loading screen, and that is all for week 5 challenges. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like. Make sure to share this video to all your Fortnite friends in the community. And make sure if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. Turn on that bell button so you don't miss out on any future posts of mine like this one. And then I just want to reiterate, please hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers. That's big for me right now. It's crazy. 1,000. I'm trying to do it. So let's get to 1,000. Help me get to 1,000. 
as I help you guys with these walkthroughs. And if you do enjoy walkthroughs like this when I have done walkthroughs for Season 8, Week 1, Week 2, Week 3, Week 4 videos, they're all up on my channel. Make sure to check those out. Make sure to also check out my vlogs and other various challenges that I've done in the past. They're fun videos, honestly. So make sure you check those out. And other than that, it's e Pac-Mans. And I hope you guys enjoyed this week's challenge video. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.